Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shen Chen IO. Where apparently it's raining heavily, even though it doesn't really look like that. <laughs> um Yeah, let's just let's just let's just get going. The next one here is infrared sensor. Um passive infrared sensor. R. I'm in the process of setting up closer tie-ups with top global firms and I'm working on working to secure higher profile work for our company. The first result of these efforts is a contract to create an infrared sensor. This allows us to participate in the booming market of passive monitoring stations to detect illegal activities. Illegal carbon emissions, illegal growing operations, illegal immigration. If, it against, if it's against the law and it generates heat, it will detect it. All right. All right, so what do we have here? Okay, time is a simple input connected to a DT2415 clock providing at the current time, which presumably is this thing right here. All right, which probably has an output there, if I read this right. Uh, sensor is a simple input connected to an infrared sensor, all right. Al alarm is the output. Uh, current time equals the eon time, the device should be armed. All right, and if it equals the off time, it should be disarmed. Sure. Whenever the device is armed and the sensor reads at or above a value of 20, the alarm output should be active. All right, the on and off times are set by the operator using dials that can be read as X plus inputs and use numerical values compatible with the DT2415. All right. Can we use a bigger, a bigger chip thing here? Or does that not make sense? Because these are X bus, so we could just hook them up like this. I mean, not quite like that, but basically like that. But then we have two more pins, and this is also a pin, and we don't have three pins, you only have two pins. So we definitely need at least another thing to connect this. Let's see, if we move... We can move everything here, right? Yeah, we can. Except for the... Yeah, these things we can move. Because uh, then we could... Well, it only makes sense to have this like that, because those are two X bus sensors. Um, then I can connect this like that, this like that, and then this like this. That would work. I just don't know if I have enough space <laughs> for code here, because I do. I will, that would mean I'm doing, I'm doing everything in here. Who knows? All right, whatever. So we, we want to turn on if it's equal and off. Well, yeah, we want to arm or disarm. So if if x0 equals p0, then we want this to be on. And if it equals x1, we want it to be off. some comments so we know <laughs> this arm all right and then we want also to oh it's not p0 though it, the time comes from p1 p0 is the the sensor right then we also need to test if Probably want we want maybe so if it is on let's just say it, whatever then we move a hundred into ack and if it's if we want to disarm 
we save zero to ack. That should work. And then if we do, if we test if ack is a hundred and then we say if it is, then this is armed, then we want to test if We want to test if the sensor output is at or above a value of 20. So we want greater than or equal, which I don't think we have. We only have greater than or equal or lower than, but not something that does both. So the opposite of at or above is lower than. So we would want to reverse the logic. So we want to test lower than 20. Which is the order though? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, probably P020, right? So if it's lower than 20, then you want to send zero. And else you want to send 100. So why is this not gonna work? <laughs> it's definitely not gonna work yet, let's see. Um, let's just step it a few times to see what it, I I'm not sleeping yet, so that's definitely a problem. All right, see, this is a problem because nestled statements don't work the way I would want them to. I want this to be only in reference to that, but I can't have that because now it's sending 100 because it's not 100, which is wrong. Can I do not equal? Is there, can I negate tests? I really should print this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Where is it? Nop. This instruction has no effect. Very good. What's the point of nop then? Um, copy the value. We have that. Jump for labors. Don't need that here. I hope. Sleep. SLX. Sleep until the data is available to be read and the X was pin specified by the operator. Interesting. So we can sleep until we get data. To save power, probably because we wouldn't constantly read or try to read, whatever. Add, subtract, multiply, not if the value x is zero, store a value of 100, otherwise, store a value of zero. So, I just, that's how, yeah, I can just turn it on, like, yeah, okay, I can just do not and then I, I invert x. So I guess I could just do a knot here. Well, what if I don't know how the tests are set up? Let's, let's just leave it at that for now. Uh, and how do I fix this? So if X is a hundred, then test if the sensor reads twenty. 20 or if it doesn't read 20 in this case maybe I just need to make two separate things for the test here I can just test if it's equal to 20 
Uh, and if it is, then. Do that, and if I can also do. Is that gonna work though? I don't know how this how this nestling stuff works yet. That's my come on, come on. <laughs> like I don't know what happens here if the first thing doesn't go through. So it tests if. P1 equals that, which it doesn't. Now it tests if it equals that, which is also not the case. Then it tests if X is 100, which is not. So it jumps here and sends a zero. Alright, and then and this one would just do. Something like that. Yeah, okay, it's not working at all though. <laughs> Why not? 90, 91, 92, 93. So we save 100 into ACK. Test if it's also 38, which it isn't. Test if it's 100, it is. Now we test if this is 20, which it's not. And then it's gonna jump to here and send zero. Yeah, that's not what I want though. I mean, we could just move. If we do this, that's only going to send the zero if. I can't I can't nestle statements and I need two tests for for the sensor because if I do greater then it's not gonna be enough and if I do lower then I can't hmm this is frustrating because it's very it's like the logic is very simple but I can't I can't make this thing do what I want it to do um, and if I do the lower then test which is the opposite of equal or greater than So I test if it's on, if it is on. Then I go here and I test if this is the case. And if this is the case, then I want to... I might have to use labors or something to jump out of this loop. But I don't even know how I would do that because if I do, well, it's not lower than 20, so jump somewhere. And then whatever. Then I would also need a sleep. But that would always trigger when this one wouldn't it? 
was sent to zero, but then would also jump to test and move to 100. Because <laughs> I can't tell it, this is not, this is not, this minus is only for this test, not for this test. <laughs> I can't tell it that. Test the other way around. What? Go away, finally. So, and then we just test if this is lower than 20, and if it is lower than 20. Do this, and if it's not, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is not going to work because why? Let's see. Well, now it turned on even though... What? What's wrong? Oh, it should still be off because of time. But we tested if it's lower than 20 and it's not, and then it jumped here. Did both those things, which we don't want. Oh wait, but if I do, why do I have a minus there? Oh, because now it does both. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't make the logic work, because this is stupid. Because <laughs> it's doing both, it's testing it's slower than it sends both, which is wrong, it should only send one. I can't nestle things, there's no parentheses, I can't just <laughs> extend this around this, I can't. do it then. <laughs> Come on. I could have the sensor going to the other one. Would that help? So if I only turn on and off here. change the logic at all. I think it does, right? Then this would be... Wait. <laughs> wait, wait a second. So if this is on, then send a hundred. To Eck, otherwise, since zero to Eck, and then just send Eck to X2 and get rid of the next line.
Oh, that shouldn't be right. All right, and then over here, we just do Actually, here we do lower than than twenty for P zero. Oh, come on! And if it is lower than twenty, we send zero to P one. this into here and then we test if oh no yeah we test if this is lower than 20 and if it is lower than 20 what we do is we do um not oh and let me just move does that work <laughs> what am I doing here yeah that, that should work That was very neat, I have to say. So the the trick, <laughs> yeah, the thing to keep in mind, the thing that was tripping me up, up all the way up until the very last minute there, when I finally figured it out. So it was, in my mind, it was, how is, how is this gonna work? How is this gonna work? I can't nestle, you know, the logic statement, how is this gonna work? It should just to do, do this. So we get, the, we get the signal from here. So if it's on, we get a hundred in. If it's off, you get zero in. And then we test if this is lower than 20. And if it is, we want to send zero out. So we make the variable zero and send that out. And that only happens if this is off. And otherwise, the 100 that comes in goes through. And if it's a zero, it goes through two. That was not that hard and a very good solution too very good solution i'm happy about that that was that was that was tough and for this closure i had i had to restart this episode <laughs> i did 20 minutes before i would i wasn't gonna tell you but now that i i'm gonna tell you yeah <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you and i'll keep that up throughout the series hopefully i wasted 20 something minutes on nothing before i could, just couldn't I just couldn't make that last step work and I was angry <laughs> because I felt like it wasn't that hard and I started over and I thought I might just as well scrap everything. So there, there's that. Let's do, let's do a game of Solitaire just to calm our nerves, which might or might not work at all, we'll see. Right, so we are, okay, let's look at the positioning. These these three are very good position-wise, but this one isn't. Then we have one, two, this is bad, three, four, and then the red ones are bad, too. Rose is pretty bad, too, or flower, I guess. So we should probably still try to go for the black ones, maybe? Ah, I don't know, it's not gonna be easy, though. Because there isn't a single, uh, Thing here that I can get rid of because there's a there's you know dragons here, dragon 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 here. So it's not easy to clean one of those spots or to clear one of them. Um, so I don't know what my best bet is.
This does actually not feel like a good move. But this is not significantly better. <laughs> um, can I do this? Probably can. Do I want to do that though? Because I would have two sevens and a nine. The nine can't go anywhere. And the sevens can't really go anywhere either because the eights are pretty covered up. I can put the three up here, the seven up here, this dragon up here, then the seven here, but then I have the dragon, the seven and the three up there. Or seven and the nine. Wait. Oh, but this this is not exposed. No. <laughs> ah, that was stupid. Can I can I fix this? I don't think I can. Seven, six, five, eight, But I only have dragons here everywhere, this is really bad. I can't get that 7 or that 9 down anywhere. Yeah, I'm unblocked everywhere now, I think. Because to get that 7 down, I would have to have an open 8. Two eights are here and here, <laughs> which is not good. I mean, this is a nice pile that I could move if I had a nine, and I have one, but I can't get that one down here either because I can't. I can't open up a, a slot down here. Yeah, my finger screwed. All right, more of this. Uh, Again, black is pretty bad. Red is not great, but a little bit better. Uh, green. Also not great. <laughs> Ugh. Not a great start again. out of here. I think I'm pretty close close to red maybe. We'd have to get rid of this one. And one of those. So that's two slots. I mean I would only have one slot to get in here. Can't do that. Can I uncover a seven somewhere? Good here. Then I couldn't get rid of nine. That's not good. If it did do that, then I could move the six over here. I could move the eight over here. I could move the seven over here. Could I move this five somewhere? No. Could not. Where are the fours? I'm not sure which way I want to go with this now. I could do this. Oh, I can't actually. That's not. <laughs> that's not the fourth thing I thought it was for some reason. No seven, no eight. Uh, we could go nine, eight. And then switch this 5 and this 5, which would get us to 1, which feels like a net gain for sure. So 
this is this is an interesting one. Um, the screen one is very buried still. Uh... Yeah, hmm. So the red one, this one, is bad, because I would need to put this one up here, and then one of them up here, and I only have one slot, and then I would have to move this one here. Will that be enough? I think, actually, it would be, right? I'm not sure if this was worth it, though. But it was possible to do it, so I did it. <laughs> it's no, never really a good reason to do things, though, right? Because I think now I might be screwed. Or can I recover? Can't put this free anywhere. No, I can. Okay, this might have saved me now. Way to. I could put it here. I should put it here for now. Where's the last nine? Oh, up here. <laughs> Somehow I lost that. Um, so if I put this here and then the black dragon up there, then the two will go away. But then I have the green dragon here that I can't put anywhere. So I need another open slot. Can I get another open slot somehow? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. This doesn't really help me though. If I move this one up here. this one here and then the black dragon over here and then the two will go up there and I can get rid of the three the three the five maybe up to the five but it doesn't really open me another slot which is what I would need it to do so I should probably do something like this oh it's the same six That's pretty neat now. But yeah, actually, no, I'm stuck now, I think. No! <laughs> if I do this, then I have another open slot here. Yeah, and it does it. Great. Four out of ten. Do we do another one? Let's do another one. <laughs> it's a bad, a bad idea. This is going to be a slow one. And I'm going to regret it because the episode is long enough. I just I feel like playing more for some reason. I don't even look at the dragons in this one. They are really bad. There are yeah, two red ones and then the other ones, and then green has two in one, and black has two in one. It has actually, yeah, all of them in, <laughs> in stacks, which is not great. This one might not be winnable. If I do one black up here. Yeah, 
we have no have no way of getting anywhere here it looks like Breck would have to be the first one to go. <laughs> but I don't know how to get to that point <laughs> at all. I would put those two up there, and then I can't really do much after that, can I? Because that six can't go anywhere. I guess I could move that five then, but not the three. I should have ended the episode. <laughs> now we, now we had one one. Ah, because now this is not gonna get any better. Because I can't put this here. This is the same five. There, this is this wouldn't help because there are nines here, which I don't really need right now. And this wouldn't help because there's just another dragon, so I would have to move both of them. Should give me a six I can't do anything with other than the five. Okay, then I could do this, which should give me that, but then I can't get to that. Can move that back here. Or I could move that around maybe. Yeah I could, and then I don't even know. Let's just do something. For the sake of doing something. <laughs> But yeah, that doesn't get me anywhere. <laughs> Gets me stuck. So I can't I can move this one now and I can't get in here. I don't think there was a way to do anything here. But I'm never sure. It always feels like it was something I could have done. They were all stacked up against against each other, which is really bad. Whatever though. I shouldn't really do another one. Ah, uh, it's just one easy. It looks a bit easier because I can do this to start off with. <laughs> Which I'm not sure if that's even that powerful of a move, it just feels good. Yeah, this one much easier than the last one. <laughs> Pretty sure. But that's enough. <laughs> that's enough story here for one episode. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.